Hey guys. Welcome to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create these. Let's create a composition with full HD settings as usual. You can change the name you like. Make the duration 6 seconds. Alright, I have a shape image for this project, you can get the download links in the description. Let's bring the image to our timeline. Adjust its size and place it like this. Great, now turn off the fill and turn on the stroke. Now take the pen tool and draw a straight line like this. Adjust the stroke width according to the shape. Just like this. Select the layer and add trim paths. Now open trim path 1 and change the set the start value to 100. Then add a keyframe on start. Go to 10 seconds forward and change the value to 0. Now add a keyframe here on end, then go forward to few frames and change the end value to something like this. Just make sure that the line matches with our plus icon. Nice. Create another line just like this, but this time in a vertical way. Align it perfectly according to our image. Now open position properties of this layer and go forward to a few frames and add a keyframe on position. Then come back to 10 frames and drag the shape just like this. Take your time to adjust the keyframes. Now add trim path for this layer also. Now open trim paths and add keyframes on start and end. Then go forward to the last frame and change the value to something like this. Just make sure that it matches the image. It seems little bit fast to me. Select both the layers and hit U on the keyboard to see the applied keyframes. Select all the keyframes and drag it by holding ALT on your keyboard to increase the duration. Now it looks good to me. Select all the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Now select the layers then go to the last keyframe and press ALT plus closing bracket to trim the layers. By doing this, layer will automatically vanish after that keyframe. Now unlock this layer and drag it to the last keyframe, just like this. Now go to effects and presets and search for fill, double click to apply it on the layer. And change the color according to your composition. You can see, now it seems like one. Here I need to adjust the keyframes a little bit for our text animation. Let's add texts quickly. 
you're free to choose your own text. Adjust its size and position like this. Now select these two layers and press P to open the position, add a keyframe on it, then come back to few frames and drag both text just like this. Select all the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Now select the image layer and press R to open rotation and add a keyframe on rotation. Then go forward to a few frames and change the value to minus 90. Now select the text layers and add a keyframe on position, then go forward to last keyframes and drag the text just like this. Make sure you align it with the image. Easy ease the keyframes. It looks good to me. Now select our last text, take the rectangle tool, and create a mask like this. Go to the last keyframe and add a keyframe on the mask path, then come back to a few frames and drag the mask path something like this. Select all the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Now select these text layers and pre compost it. Select the image and press Ctrl plus D to make it duplicate. Change the name like this for better understand. Go forward to a few frames and a keyframe on scale and position. Then go forward to a few frames and change the position like this, also change the scale value to 4. Do the same for the other image, but this time on the reverse side. After all, it should look like this. Now take the rectangle tool and create a shape like this. Align it with the images. Take your time to adjust the shape because you need to be as precise as possible here for better animation. Rename it middle dot. Now press Ctrl plus D two times. Rename them also. Change the position according to the name. Again duplicate these two layers. and rename them.
Also change the position like this. Adjust the position of these shapes. Now we need to reveal these shapes with these plus icons. For doing this we need to adjust the starting point of these layers. Now take a look at how I am doing this. We are going to reveal these shapes along with the plus icons. Let's trim these layers one by one according to the animation. I tried to slow this process as possible as I can so you guys understand it. In case if you guys face any problem, let me know in the comments. I will help you guys to solve your problems. Now I hope you guys understand what I did here. Select all the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Now go to almost 2 seconds and add a keyframe on the position of these two layers. Then go forward to 30 frames and drag these icons just like this. Now we need to move these shapes also. Select all the layers and press P to bring down position property. Now take a look at how I am adding keyframes for the position of these layers. We are going to move these shapes in a cool way. It's hard to tell you every keyframes, so please watch the video very carefully. You will understand it easily. Just try to align these shapes with the plus icons at the end. Select all the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Cool. Now select this text composition layer, take the pen tool, and create a mask. Just like this. Now go to almost 2 seconds and add a keyframe on mask path, then go forward to the last frame and drag the mask path just like this. Perfect. Easy ease the keyframes. and add a keyframe on position. Then go forward to a few frames and change the position of these both plus icons. Just like this. Just make sure it should look like one after this.
Trim the second layer from here, so the plus icon disappears automatically after this time. Now we have to trim these dot layers again, so it disappears the way it appears. Just like this. Press the spacebar to ramp review it. Perfect. Now select this layer. Add a keyframe on the scale, then go forward to a few frames and increase the scale value a little bit. Again add a keyframe on rotation, then go forward to a few frames and change the rotation value to 1. Now add a keyframe on position, then go forward to few frames and drag the shape outside of the composition. Just like this. You can also add keyframes on rotation and scale to make it look better. Check out this. Hit spacebar to ramp review it. Cool. Let's wrap it up for today. Let me know if you face any problem. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. And if you really want these kinds of cool tutorials then hit the subscribe button. See you guys in the next video. Signing out. Peace.